Hello, welcome to Varial Vagapara. In this video, we are going to see a very quick question on BSEPR theory, uh, which is taken from uh, CSAR net December question paper. It's a very simple numerical and it is a very easy to be solved uh, problem. But if you are new to my channel, please kindly subscribe to my channel. This will greatly increase and support me to put more videos. It will be helpful for all students. And uh, if you are new to understanding BSEPR theory, there are fundamental concepts that have been uh, already done by me in on this particular channel please uh, go back to the list of videos and then you can find those videos in the list so let's just see the question according to vsdpr theory the shapes and geometries of sef4 and brf4 minus respectively are so in this particular question what we see here is we are given two uh, molecular formulas and we are asked to find the shape and geometry of each of these compounds and they've given four options so let us see how quickly we can solve this particular problem actually this particular problem will take only less than a minute uh, if you are very familiar with what to do let us take selenium tetrafluoride we know selenium tetrafluoride uh, has selenium atom which is uh, an oxygen family member so the valence electrons is six the fluorine is a halogen, so the valence electron is 7. So there are flu four fluorine atoms, so it, uh, it adds up to 28. So the total number of valence electrons on this particular molecule is 34 electrons. So you divide it by 8, you get a quotient of 4 and a reminder of 2. A reminder is divided again by 2 to get a lone, number of lone pairs. So when we add up the bond quotient, which is a bond pair, and the remainder, which is a lone pair, we get the number as 5. So any molecule which has a number of bonds as 5, then it belongs to the basic geometry which is AX5 type. The AX5 type has a trigonal bipyramidal geometry. <coughs> so this is how trigonal bipyramidal geometry looks like. So but then we know that the lone pair of electron will occupy the equatorial position because only at this position it is at a maximum repulsion from one another. Bond angle is 120 degree. And as a result, you see here that the lone pair occupies one of the equatorial position. And so the shape looks like a seesaw. So the shape of this particular molecule is seesaw. Now, when we take a bromine uh, tetrafluoride uh, to the power minus, uh, so we know bromine and fluorine, both of them are uh, halogens. So it is uh, 5 into uh, 7, which is 35. And then there is one negative charge. So the total number of valence electrons will add up to 36. Then you divide it by 8. So you get a quotient of 4. And the remainder uh, divided by 2 will give you two lone pairs of electrons. So the total number of bonds in this particular molecule is four bond pairs and two lone pairs, which adds up to 6. So the molecules which have six bonds belong to the type AX6 type. So the parent geometry is octahedral. So here we see this is an octahedral geometry wherein the two lone pairs will occupy the two axial above and below positions of this square planar. So the geometry of this particular molecule is distorted to a shape which is square planar. So the shape of this particular molecule is square planar and this is how we can very easily predict the geometry and shape of molecules using VSEPR theory. I hope you understood. Thank you. Like and subscribe to our videos for more such videos. Thank you.